Hey everyone, in this video I want to show you a very quick way in which we can deploy a service that works off of the Twilio API to allow myself and my teammates to send text messages. Let's jump right in. Getting started, let's first take a look at the simple code that I've written to create a very simple Flask API that allows users to go to a route with a post request and then send information to that post request. We're expecting information of a to and body to be sent to that endpoint. And then using that information, we will then create a Twilio client using credentials that sends a message to the number that we are supplied. Once we do all that, we'll give a simple response back to the user to let them know that we've sent a message. If you want to use this same code, then it is linked down below in our GitHub repository. In this example, we have a couple of considerations that we have to pay attention to. The first consideration is that we have credentials. And most of the time when we're using any service such as Twilio, we will have credentials that we need to protect in some way. On a local machine, you see that I could use environment variables to store these. However, as soon as we deploy this, we probably need those environment variables hosted on whatever platform we're deploying on. Also, since I want my teammates to be able to use my tool, but not just random strangers, I need a user management system that I can use to selectively allow different users to access or not access my endpoint. Finally, since this is a small tool that I just sort of want to work forever and not have to worry about the infrastructure behind it, we'll use a service called Wayscript to do that. So using Wayscript, we get all of those out of the box and I will show you how we can deploy this on Wayscript very quickly. So what we can do with the Wayscript application there is a desktop app that I would encourage you to download. So once you download the Wayscript desktop application, I will open it up. We have a screen that looks like this. So what a layer does is allows us to put all of our code into an environment which we can control that is hosted that we do not have to worry about. So we will click on create a new layer within the desktop application. And once we click on create, what it does is throws us in to a dev environment that we can construct our tool into. Once we finish, there is a prod environment that we can deploy to. So once we have this layer created, one cool thing that happens is that if we have connected our desktop application to a directory, then that directory automatically populates our brand new layer. And you can see it over here in the left under my directory for Wayscript. So now, since we've already developed our application, all we have to do is I will shrink these and we can drag and drop it in. So once we place that into our local file manager, we can go back to the Wayscript application and we see that we now have this app.py over here on the left with that information. We're still working with those considerations. So our first step will be to deploy our Flask application. We can do that using the trigger system within Wayscript, new trigger, deploy, and then we have a simple command to run. This will be linked down below too, but I will paste this in. And all we're saying is for Flask to run our app.py file. And that's what runs by default whenever we call Flask run. Now 880 to match the port number and we can test. So we've already talked about the consideration of deploying our environment without having to worry about the infrastructure. At this point, our next concern is how to store secrets. So we have these two secrets that we need to store safely within our system here. And we can do that by using the dot secrets file by clicking add file and secrets. So we need one that is SID and one that is auth. For the specific service that we're using is Twilio and I will show you where to get these values from. Once you sign into Twilio, this is the homepage. I just have a trial account, but my SID will come from this value here and my auth token will be this value here. Also, you will need your phone number and this goes into your app.py here. Now that we have all of this, I will go through and add these as new secrets. So we have an SID, perfect. Once we have these in our system, let's go ahead and refresh our application to make sure that those are loaded into our Docker container. The Docker container is just what's working behind the scenes. That's how all this code is executed. So now that we have our secrets in place, we have deployed and we have our credentials safely secured within Wayscript. Our final consideration is that I want my teammates to be able to use this application. The way that we're constructing it is as an API, and we don't just want anybody to be able to hit our API. 
Wayscript already has a user management system built in, and we can do this using Wayscript auth tokens. Within Wayscript, anyone within my workspace or in my organization here can use their own authentication token, which they can find un under their Wayscript settings, application keys, and copying this key. They can use that token to access any of the endpoints within my workspaces. So this Twilio API service has this endpoint that we can hit right here. I will show you how to hit this. By default, all these endpoints are protected. There is a setting that you can make them public if you wish, but our endpoint is this, and our auth token comes from our account. So I will grab that one more time and copy that and use that in our local script. So the specifics of the custom API that I wrote requires a two phone number, and I will omit this from the video. That way I can use my own and show you what the text message looks like. And we will use something for the body. So from YouTube tutorial, we'll be fine. Once we run this, we see that we get the response of message sent. And I just got a text message using my phone number, and you can see it here. I will pop this up on screen. That way you can see it a little bit better. But if you have any questions about anything that's going on in this video, please let us know. We're excited about a lot of these features and we hope that you see the power in it. So as always, I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you next time. Take care.